D2DNY, Real World HVAC Simplified. And now, in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to diagnose error code. You see it, 6602. That's 6602 on your Mr. Bichi City Multi. Here is the model. All right, but generally, same concept will apply to any of the Mr. Bichis, the family, the VRF, the VRF family. But before we get into the video, I want you to go ahead and uh, subscribe and smash the bell icon. And um, so when I upload videos like these, you get them right away. So it's going to be a rather short video. So let's get into it. Okay. So what you're going to need is a multimeter. And you're going to set it to the DC volt um, section. And um, what we're going to do now, we're going to check. We're going to check our Mnet. And this right here, it's down there. You can see it's kind of hard. It's a tight access. But um, see if I can get in there for you guys. Hold on. Okay, yes, and I know this is New York City for you, baby. The access is horrible. Look at that. Okay, so. Um, so I just removed this little panel down here so I can get into it. So let me zoom in on that. Okay, so the connections up top, that goes to the remote controller and the connections in the bottom, that's the Mnet. So that's what we're gonna be checking for DC volts. Okay. All right, let's see if I get in there. Oh, it's really tight, guys. So up top, you should have 12 volts, I think. 12 volts up top. So I'm on the terminals. Zero volts. Now let's check the, uh, the, the remote sensor power. I think it's 12 volts at up top. That's gonna give me 11.6. Okay, so here we know why we're getting that error code because there's no voltage on our Mnet, which means the first thing you want to check next is your uh, outdoor condenser. So the first thing you want to go to check, you want to go to check your outdoor, your outdoor condenser. So I'm going to go ahead here and I'm going to reset this. Uh, reset error code. I'm gonna hit OK, and then I'm gonna go back to return error reset main menu. Return, and I'm gonna turn on again. And being that you have no DC volts on your Mnet, this error is gonna come back. That's your address board. Where's your Mnet? Right here. Is this it? Yeah. No, it's not that. That's not it. Okay. So, the machine just turned on, by the way. Here the fan starts up. It's running, but it's gonna trip again because we have no power on our Mnet, no DC power. So right here, to outdoor unit, M1 and 2. But we do have power here, it goes to our remote controller. So this machine is gonna trip again. All right, so now what you wanna do, you wanna go check your condenser, make sure your condenser has power. Make sure your control and transmission line is not crisscrossed. 
Um, so that's going to give you that error. 66 out 2, and that's how you troubleshoot it. So long as you have no DC power, well, I think it's 30 volt DC, if I'm mistaken. 28 or 30 volts DC should be on these two terminals right here. And it comes from the condenser, it comes from the outdoor unit. Right here. So there you go, shuts down again. <sighs> completely shuts down. So this is an, an, another symptom of that because it completely went off. Right? So, yeah. Put it on. So again, uh, I'm gonna go check the condenser, put the power back on, or check the power in the condenser. I don't know what's going on up there. And then I'm gonna come back, stay tuned. Okay guys, so I'm back once again. Um, let's go check right now. We can get, see we got DC, so condenser power was off. Okay, so let's see. Went out to the condenser and I found that the switch was down. Look in there, can you see me? Let me zoom in. Tight, New York City, tight install. Okay, so I'm on the terminals. You can see that, it's difficult to see, but you see, I'm on there. And, 20 million volts DC, baby. So there's your diagnostic, 6602. Now, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe. I do upload videos on a weekly basis. All right. Now, here is a similar situation. It's another unit. There's a cover. So, I'm going to do it again. Go in there. This is a better view, so I'm doing it for you guys. You can see there's a better view right here, better access. On this bottom terminal right there, where you can see that's your Mnet and no votes. Okay, so if I go on the the uh, if I go on the top terminal, this is for the top two terminal right here. There's a top that goes to your remote controller, and that's 12 volts. That get powered from this board right here. You can see there's a red light on there, so it's it's good. There's power there. There's power coming to the unit right here. And eleven point eight volts. Alright so now when I turn on the outdoor unit, I'm gonna get 30 volts or 29 volts DC down here. And that's your communication. That's when you get at 6602. If there's no power, there's no DC power here on these terminals. Okay. You're going to get your 6602. And so to go over again. That's TB, TB5, M1 and M2. Go to outdoor unit. Transmission line. Okay. Again, this one down here, TB15, um, one and two, which is the, the wires up top. The wires up top. That goes to your remote, con remote controller. So, this, this job here, there's several. 66 or 66 or two errors that I was getting so I just thought I'd do a video on it and It's an apartment building and This was happening All right, so let's see now. So I just turned that power on now Let's check. That's the part of the outdoor unit Let's just check and see here now Get down in there See if we get in Voila 27 volts DC. Now, guys, is that the power that feeds the outdoor unit is not to, is not to be confused with the power that feeds the indoor unit. Okay, the indoor unit, if it has power, it only sends sends uh, sends power to the, the remote controller or the thermostat, as you may. It doesn't send um, power to the 
communication or Mnet lines. And you can see here is a TB15, that's the top ones. And TB5, that's the bottom one, is that correct? Yeah. And you can see that 15 and 5. Five is outdoor, which is the bottom, right there, and 15 is up top, remote controller. That's it for this video, guys. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. If you are not subscribed, subscribe right now. All right, snowy day in New York City, beautiful view. Yes, I'm out.